UN investigators are set to examine the site of an alleged chemical attack in Damascus last week. The Syrian government had allowed the investigation and agreed to observe a ceasefire during the visit. Bodies litter the floor. Men, women, children. The victims of an alleged chemical attack. The death toll is said to be more than 300. Over 3,000 others have reportedly been treated for neurotoxic symptoms. Both the rebels and the government have blamed each other for the attack. But that's not what the UN is looking to determine. They want to find out if chemical weapons were actually used. The success is in everyone's interest, all parties in Syria and all concerned states. It will address the recent allegations in the Damascus area and its success can have a deterrent effect on possible further use of chemical weapons in Syria and elsewhere. We are determined to answer the call of our member states, fulfill our mandate and resolve deeply disturbing unanswered questions. The U.S., however, is convinced Assad's regime had used such weapons in the attack. The Obama administration has called the use of chemical weapons a red line that could trigger U.S. military action, a threat that it and the U.K. repeated on Saturday.